Hey everyone, it's Autumn. Today I thought I would do my purge video and I don't go through everything and like purge it all like by category by category. What I do is I kind of use items or go through and I notice what I haven't been using and I just throw them in a basket um, throughout the month or couple months and this has been accumulating since... I would say December. So these are the things I've purchased since December because around the holidays I know that I did, um, let me put this, over, oops, put this over here. Um, around the holidays I did do a purge and I took things with me and gave to family members. Um, maybe it was either Thanksgiving or Christmas, I forget, but I did get rid of a huge bag of stuff then. And this is what I have now that I am getting rid of. And I'll kind of tell you why I'm getting rid of it. Um, the nail polishes though, I'm just getting rid of them because I don't use these shades. And um, I just, I usually just use a uh, nude nail polish on my nails and then I'll use a bright color on my toenails. And um, I just didn't need all of these. So I'll go through though and show you nail polish first. Um, I have some of these uh, Revlon perfumeries and I have, um, here we go, three right here. I have it in Balsam Fur, Apricot Nectar, and Winter Mint. These are the scented ones. I really liked these when I used them. I just haven't been using them in a long time, so I'm going to get rid of them. Okay, I have some Sally Hansen polishes that I'm getting rid of. The first one is actually a color that I created. Um, and I don't know if any of you have thought to do this or whatever, but there was a, a perfect color of blue that I had wanted a couple years ago, like a powder blue, and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I actually went and bought a white nail polish, and then I added um, like a navy color to it. And I think um, I must have already purged that navy, but it was the... Um, after school boy blazer and that's what I added to this to get this color um, it's a pretty color but again I very rarely wear blues on my nails so I'm gonna go ahead and pass that along I have two Sally Hansen um, actually three Sally Hansen glitters sorts of polishes so I have the pearl crush which this is really pretty but I find that these don't stay on my nails very well like these larger glitters so I'm getting rid of that and then I have these two and um, Again, really pretty. I just don't wear glitter very often unless it's like just silver or gold and it's an accent nail. And then I have these two from the gel line. And these are in, uh, what is it, Lip Palm and Malibu Peach. So I have those. They're kind of dusty. Um, but yeah, I have those that I'm getting rid of. I just recently sent this in a Pinch Me box in which Pinch Me is a sort of service anybody can get. It's kind of like Influencer where you just kind of claim what samples you want and they send you samples and then you just kind of write reviews or tell them whether or not you like the products. So I was sent um, these and they're the sinful colors and this like their gel thing. This was just a little bit too sheer for me and again it's not really a color I would wear. So I'm going to go ahead and pass these on. found another perfumery shade I'm getting rid of um, and this is in the shade Spun Sugar. Again, this is really pretty. I just don't wear this color, but I I wish I did. I just find that some colors that look great on other people do not look good on my hands. And I think it's slightly, I do nude because I have large hands because I'm a large person. I'm close to six foot tall. So as you can see, like, I have big hands. <laughs> so I don't know. I just find sometimes that, like, bright nail polish looks weird on me. All right, moving on. I have a couple of Revlon. And I have the shade Fashionista and the shade Divine. Divine is this one, and then this uh, deep teal is Fashionista. I have one Mil Milani shade, and it's a bright pink, and it's called Splendid Strawberry. And I have another bright pink, and this is by um, Summer Brights, and I got this at Rite Aid. And I would love to have a shade this bright for my toes. However, this is kind of chalky, and... Um, it looks kind of matte. It doesn't look good and it takes several coats to make it opaque. So I'm still on the hunt for a really good uh, bright neon pink. And this is the Flower Beauty and this is in the shade Good Buddy. Um, the reason I'm getting rid of this one is because these polishes take forever to dry and you have to build and build and build. They take forever to dry um, and I think it's like the same quality as like maybe the CoverGirl polishes. I have that same issue. I wonder if they have the same manufacturer and that is a possibility considering that Drew Barrymore, this is her brand and she actually used to be um, a CoverGirl. So um, I don't know. I just don't like this. Okay so hopefully the light's better. I turned the camera around. All right so then I have a few more. I got this while I was in Hawaii. 
and I don't know what the shade is but this is from Nature Republic and it's just a really pretty deep sort of gray color it's like a deep charcoal gray um I just again I don't wear it then I have two Essie polishes and this first one is in case study and I'm getting rid of this because although I do have nail polish thinner this one just seems to separate quite a bit if you can see it's it turns kind of like yellowy and if you like shake it up it's fine um but I just don't want to deal with that and then this is another Essie polish and this is in um style enomics and it's just a very deep green teal shade that's almost it looks black in the bottle but it's like a deep teal green shade and then I have a Deborah a Deborah Lipman nail polish and this is just a mini in the shade she bop all right so then I have this box over here and I'm just going to kind of go through all the items um and again the reason I'm getting rid of these is because I'll tell you each one but um, okay, so I'm first going to show these, and these are the Pond's BB Creams. I originally bought some at the drugstore when they first came out, and then I was sent more, I think, through Influencer. And I was able to make it through the first ones, but I have noticed that they lean very cool. So the light shade um, leans kind of pink and super pale, and I could make it a little bit better if I mixed it with things, but also I noticed that I had to use uh, cream products on top of this because... It kind of had almost like a tacky moisturizing feel, which um, would cling to powder products. So I would then have to put a powder on top to then use powder products, and it just wasn't worth it to me. And then this shade is the medium shade, and again, it's just very cool toned. It wasn't warm enough for me, um, so I'm going to pass this on to someone else. Plus, it's too dark for me, and I always had to mix it with something lighter. Um, this may be a surprise, but I'm getting rid of uh, this Dior Nude BB Cream. This was part of my Project 100 pan. But after using it um, quite a bit, like you can see I've used quite a bit of it, but after using it, I've just realized that this leans way too pink on my skin. And although I can mix it with other things, it oxidizes as well to like a brighter pink even after mixing it. So when it oxidizes with what I've mixed in it, my face just looks weird, almost mannequin-like. Um, I might eventually try the darker shade because I have 001 and maybe I should have gotten 002. I believe that one leans a little bit more um, yellow because I do like this formula. I have these foundations and these are by Nuance which you can get at CVS and these are the Selma Hayek foundations. I'm, I'm getting rid of these because they're not a good color match. This one is too light and this one's too dark and cool and I got them thinking I would be able to mix them together but the color is just off and it's also annoying because they're in a pump and every time I spray them, the pump doesn't, like, make stuff come out gently. It, like, you'll be sitting there with your outfit on, getting ready to go somewhere, and the pump will just spray you. And then you have this, it just shoots out, and the stuff is everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this on and also issue the warning that, um, apply this when you're naked. <laughs> okay, so now I have some eyeshadows that I'm purging. And I got this in either a FabFitFun or a Pop Sugar box. I think it might have been a Pop Sugar box. But I got this um, in the fall, and I was excited because they didn't give me the purple shades, which was an option. They gave me these beautiful fall shades. But the thing is, with these Tarte eyeshadows, um, although the shades are beautiful, I just find that this one's a little bit too glittery. And then these three just, they don't blend well. Tarte eyeshadows just don't blend very well for me. I've never really been a fan, unless they're in the disc palettes. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass this on to somebody else. I'm also going to pass this uh, Bobbi Brown palette on, and the reason I'm passing it on is because the shades that I like in it, I have dupes elsewhere, and then it's just not worth keeping. Um, and these are kind of a drier consistency, and I just have better eyeshadows, which you would think for as much as this thing costs, which I got it at the CCO, so I did get a deal on it, and these do appear to be like pretty um, neutral shades that I would like, but I just feel like... Um, these tones just don't really work for me. So this is like a glitter topper, so I don't really ever use that. Um, the pink shade and this shade um, don't really have a whole lot of payoff, so you have to really build them up. This is pretty, but it's like the most used shade you could probably see in here, but I feel like I have tons of other shades like that. And this gray shade is also really pretty, but again, I have um, 
a gray shade very similar to it in my uh, Naked Basics too. So I'm just going to pass this on to somebody else that likes cooler toned or pink toned eyeshadows and um, see if they would enjoy this more. I'm also passing on this Maybelline shadow and this is actually one of my favorite Maybelline eyeshadows. Um, I'm going to take this little sponge tip out of here. But I really like this shade. I just have other similar shades. And again, it's just the formula. Um, it's not that good. You can see that it's starting to create hard pan. I'm going to go through, though, and scrape all of that off. That's probably just from uh, me doing, like, finger swatches on here. But I'm going to scrape all of that off and then obviously sanitize these items before I give them away. Um, but, yeah, I'm passing this on. And plus, this is in the shade... Uh, constant toast and every time I've used this I really liked it but it's just not worth keeping because I don't use it that often and so this may come as a surprise um, it's somewhat of a recent purchase but this is the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 2 the reason I'm getting rid of this is because it has a lot of purpley shades which um, I don't feel like purple shades look that good on me so I'm getting rid of it for that and then the other shades I have something similar. There's really one shade in here that I absolutely love which is this one but I don't feel like it's worth keeping the entire palette just for this one shade so I'm going to go ahead and pass it on. Alright so I'm also purging this and this is the Color Tattoo in Nude Compliment and um, the reason I'm getting rid of this is it's still it's still creamy and stuff like you can still obviously use it and stuff. Um, but the reason I'm getting rid of it is because I find that this is a drier formula and on my eyelids you have to like when you go to build it up it looks crepier. It just makes me look old. It makes my eyelids look crepier. It's a drier consistency. If I put eyeshadows on top of color tattoos they kind of get that sort of like crunchy dry look and MAC Paint Pots don't. So I'm just going to stick to MAC Paint Pots and not buy any more color tattoos. So I really enjoyed the blushes that I got from Neutrogena but this one is the one called Bronzed. And this shade, I wouldn't really use it as a blush, although it's a blush that's supposed to make your skin look bronzed. I have bronzer for that, and this does lean a little bit orange. Um, I mean, it's pretty, but it just, it, I don't know. I don't know how well you can see things, but it just kind of leans, as you can see, a little bit orange. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this on to somebody else. I then have this bronzer, and this is the Physician's Formula, and this is the New York City bronzer. And I think I might have even featured this in a favorites like a couple of months ago. Um, or maybe in a get ready with me. And I really was enjoying it. But all of a sudden, um, there's no color payoff. There was, well, there's a little bit there. Um, but again, the color, if you see, it leans kind of like a yellowy orange shade. And it just looks bizarre on my skin. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass this on. Um, I have a friend who has a teenage daughter that was going to enjoy a lot of this stuff. But then I have this that was kind of given to me uh, by a friend. We kind of traded um, some makeup probably about a year ago. And I kept meaning to use this and I, I would try a couple of times and I just didn't get on with these. I found that when they went on as a highlighter or they just, it, it didn't look seamless or pearl-like. You could see the shimmer and it just wasn't something that made my skin look like skin. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pass these on. So I have some items that were part of my Project 100 pan, but then after I got to using them, I realized I either wouldn't be able to use them up before they went bad, um, like this one, and that's because this shade right here had to be used on my darker skin, which worked while I was in Hawaii. But I'm back now, and I'm not going to be able to use this up before it goes bad, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it, and I'll replace that item in my Project pan. Yes? Um. What do you need? Uh, I'm all done with my homework. You are? Did Daddy check it? Uh, he didn't. He didn't? Will we have, will you ask Daddy to check it? Yeah. Okay, can you close my door? Oh, yep. Thank you very much. Yeah, so anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this because, um, which this is the Eye Bright and the Boing Concealer Duo. This is just too dark for me now and I'm not going to be able to use it up before it goes bad, so I'm just going to pass this on. Or I'm not passing it on. I'm going to toss that one out. So I have quite a few lip products I'm getting rid of. Again, some of these were in the Project Pan. This one I'm going to toss out. This is the Soap & Glory Mighty Mouth. And this came, it was a three-step process where it had an exfoliator, um, a lip balm, and then this that you put on top of it, which um, really smoothed your lips over. And um, I'm getting rid of this just because I never used this portion of it. And 
Um, it's starting to smell a bit off, so I'm just going to go ahead and toss that. This right here I've had forever. Um, well, not forever, but I've had it for about, I would say, a year. Um, I heard, uh, I think, Essie Button talking about these, and I bought two of them, and I bought this shade and another shade and never really used them. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this shade on. I'm keeping the pinker one, but I just realized that the ready tones, I don't use sheer ready tones, I use sheer pink tones on my lips, so I'm going to pass this on. Um, this is the NYX Mood Lip Gloss. I have the Dior Lip Glow. There's no need of me to try to use this up. I'm getting rid of it. I think I did feature this before, maybe, in a purge video where I had talked about purging it. Um, so there may be some things in this box that I've already talked about purging um, that just have not made their way out of my house. But I'm getting rid of that. Um, this is a Clinique Super Balm Moisturizing Gloss. And this, I believe, is in the shade Current. And it's too similar to the shade that I already have in Black Honey. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this along. This is a concealer that was part of my Project 100 pan. And this is by um, The Body Shop. So I'm going to take it off of there. Um, but the reason I'm getting rid of this, this is there. And this is how much I have left. I ought to just try to use it up and say I've used a product. But this is their um, concealer. I think it's called like All-in-One Concealer. And this is like a cream to powder finish and the inside is a moisturizing core but it makes my under eyes look old and it's not a spot concealer and the coloring is just off um, so it used to be a good match for me um, but my skin is just has changed this year in the coloring so it, it no longer is a good match this is a Josie Marin Argan high lip gloss quench um, I thought that I would be able to use this, and again, I put it in my project pan. It's a new lip gloss. I tried it once, and it's super sticky. I can't handle a super sticky lip gloss, so I'm passing it on. Um, this is the Balm Staniac, and again, I think I mentioned I was getting rid of this in an empties or something, but it has become kind of gelatinous, so again, I'm taking it out of the Project 100 pan and um, getting rid of it. So this is the Sephora Lip Glow. And as you can see, I already have the Dior one, um, and I'm just going to keep on using the Dior and not this one, so I'm going to get rid of this. And then I have the full-size lipstick of this, and then I also have another mini, and I didn't really see a point in holding on to this. It's a super beautiful shade. I just don't need that many of the same color of lipstick, um, so I'm going to get rid of this Makeup Forever lipstick, and I think it's in the shade 6N. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. This was part of my Project 100 pan as well. Um, I went through and I used most of it, but again, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it because it's starting to dry out, and I had to re-put it in a new container, and um, this is the Balm's Time Bomb Concealer. It used to be in a bigger container, but I noticed that it was getting kind of dry in the bigger one because it was exposed to the air, so I put it in a smaller container, and again, it's starting to get all dry, so I'm just going to go ahead and toss this out. We then have all of these samples that were recently sent to me by Plain Jane Beauty, and these were just sent to me so that I could choose which color um, worked best for me, and then these are the leftover colors that they thought might be near my skin tone, and none of these match me. Um, and it's like the foundations and the matching powders, so I'm actually just going to pass these on um, to any friends who want to also test out the brand because obviously these don't match me. I have one body care item I'm going to get rid of, and then I have some skincare items. The first body care item I'm getting rid of, which I already did my um, body care inventory video, and this wasn't in it because I this stuff has been in the box for a while, but this is the Calgon. Um, bar soap and these are just too perfumed for my skin I just don't want to put that much perfume directly on my skin so I'm gonna donate this or pass it on so now I have some skincare items that I'm going to get rid of and I have three Freeman masks this first one is the clay mask mint and lemon um, it's a deep pore cleansing mask I'm gonna get rid of that this is the sweet tea and lemon peel away mask I mean, these are fun and all. I just want my mask to do something. I didn't notice that this did anything amazing, so I'm passing this along. And then this is the Enzyme Mask with Pineapple. And while I think that this actually is probably the best mask out of the three that I just showed you, I have other, like, peels and enzyme masks from high-end brands. Sorry, I can't speak. 
but I have them from high-end brands that I think I would want to use up first, so I'm going to use those and pass this on. Um, this is the Queen Helene Mud Pack Mask, and again, I have other mud masks that I think are far superior to this one, so I'm just going to pass this on so somebody else can enjoy it before it goes bad. This is the Dr. Lin, if it will focus, Daily Hydrating Gel. This is just hyaluronic acid, and I have a couple hyaluronic acid things. It's just like a gel in there. You can see it. Um, but again, I'm just going to go ahead and pass it on to somebody who may use it because I have um, some hyaluronic acid serums. And since this isn't a big open pot, I think that this would go bad first. So I'm going to pass this on. I have a neighbor uh, right across the street that I think may enjoy this because she has dry, sensitive skin. Another hyaluronic acid, and this is by Lumine, and this is their um, Arctic Aqua 2-in-1 Skin Perfecting Moisture Booster. Uh, but it's pretty much just hyaluronic acid. Um, and this comes with a pump, but again, I'm going to give it to that same neighbor. I have other hyaluronic acids. And then this is a really big... Um, Instant Natural Eye Gel. I did a review on this a while back and I did mention that I find that this is just a little bit sticky under the eye and it's not something that I wanted to hold on to. Okay and then I also did another little declutter and I have a couple more items I'm getting rid of. Um, these are the Josie Marin Argan Infinity Lip and Cheek Creamy Oils. I have, I kept one of these I believe, maybe two. Um, but I'm getting rid of these colors because they're just colors I'm not going to use. And then also the formula of these, um, I have lip products and then I have cream products for the cheeks. And these are just kind of uh, greasy. And then I told myself, well, they're not greasy. It's like an argan oil. But I told myself that um, I would use these in the winter. And it's now in February. Weather's starting to get a little bit better here. And I went through the dead of winter and didn't even use these. So I'm going to pass them on. I also have the Stila Convertible Color Palette, um, and I've seriously only like swatched these or maybe used the colors like once or twice. You can kind of see there's not really a whole lot of, well, there's like some use, mostly just from like swatching though, but um, I'm going to sanitize this and pass it on. And then this is the Betty Luminizer, and I'm passing this on just because I find that this is too shimmery of a bronzer for me and it's too dark to be a highlighter and um there you can see it it's too dark to be a highlighter for me and then also you can use this as an eyeshadow but this would be like the biggest eyeshadow ever it's so pigmented and I have a ton of eyeshadows that are like this anyway so I'm going to pass it on um my friend's daughter like I mentioned and my friend they are darker complected they're I, I think I believe they're Italian um they're darker complected though and I think that um they'll get use out of this so that is everything that I am getting rid of or purging. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all later. Bye!